All right, this is Travis Wayne Goodsell. I'm uh, back from FYE, obtaining the uh, movie. Uh, I haven't taken it out of the case yet. Creed, two. So that's awesome. Uh, Sylvester Stallone has done great with that that series. And then uh, I also had gotten Disney's Nutcracker in the Four Realms. I didn't get it last month, but uh, I thought, eh, maybe it looked cool on the commercials. Uh, however, Disney is uh, uh, pulling off consumer fraud, purposely uh, making bad quality DVDs, forcing people to pay more money for Blu-ray or, or uh, um, streaming services, whether it be satellite, cable, or internet. And then uh, finally in the mail, because I guess it came from the UK, Steven Seagal Lawmen, Season 2. So, and uh, you may be thinking, well, why would I be interested in a traitor to America? <laughs> first of all, you have to understand his life story. Uh, the first movie he did involved his experiences uh, in the, the war and and uh, uncovering the CIA drug trade that was going on uh, above the law it was called and so uh, uh, then he uh, uh, became famous with his uh, movies it had a cult following but because it never really did well uh, theater wise uh, in the beginning he was putting out theater movies but people stopped going uh, and people were waiting for it for DVDs instead and so he just started bringing out DVD movies straight to DVD and uh, got a following that way and and uh, the theme of his movies when he's able to be the one in charge rather than being invited to be on a, a movie as a, a, a special guest uh, what do they call that a cameo um, so like in the movie My Giant, he does a cameo in that. And uh, also the Onion movie. <laughs> he does a cameo in that one too. <laughs> so, But uh, his movies, when he gets to uh, write, direct, act in them, uh, they have his ideology in them. So uh, all movies are written by a, a, a person who has ideologies and so every movie just like every book has an ideology that they're trying to put off on two people so when you read a book uh, uh, whether it be uh, uh, Fahrenheit 451 or 1984 or uh, um, what was the uh, the uh, alien invasion uh, where the guy read it on the radio and uh, people tuned in and thought that there was actual an actual alien invasion and everybody was freaking out and this whole city panicked and then he had to come on and say no <laughs> I'm just reading my book <laughs> I can't remember it um, but uh, Tom Cruise did the movie reboot. I can't remember it. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, movies are the same way. So, like, uh, if you watch Casper uh, Van Dien in the, the movie series uh, Starship Troopers, uh, it, it has... Uh, fascist shall we say generally uh, a fascist type of uh, of uh, message that they're trying to put forth and uh, other than that it was a great show great series until they started doing cartoons and no <laughs> no you can't just start a series with real live persons 
and then think you can sneak in cartoons. Star Wars has done it uh, with the TV series Clone Wars, although that is a little awkward trying to get used to the, the same characters but in a different format. Uh, Star Trek got away with it, the original series, uh, with the uh, cartoon Star Trek. Um, but uh, that's not recommended. <laughs> and so, hmm. okay, so I'm on YouTube now. I'm going to uh, upload the video that I did just before I left. And uh, I see uh, an RT video is uh, recommended. And uh, it says, British school suspends LGBT lessons after 80% of pupils kept home by parents. Report. <laughs> and so, first of all, RT is Russian television. And uh, it's the American version where they speak English. And, uh, and it's interesting that uh, the the Young Turks have one of their guys that I recognize. Uh, I, he had RT at the bottom of his own channel on one of his videos that I had seen. Uh, when the Young Turks take over and show his video uh, videos, RT is gone. But Turks, very, very close. But uh, uh, the Young Turks are the progressives. Uh, they outwardly say, we're progressive, we want progressive values, screw the Democrats. <laughs> Up with our, our AOC. AOC's in the house. <laughs> so, uh, and they like Bernie Sanders, I guess, too, because Bernie Sanders is also progressive even though he goes as independent but runs as Democrat what a joke well politics is just a joke nobody follows the Constitution nobody even cares and as a result people are able to use it to manipulate people to uh, to pursue a Russian government like I did I did the video old Russia or new Russia so, once in a while, uh, the Russian television, however, will do a news story that I can trust and believe in because I can confirm it from another source that I can trust and believe in. Uh, interestingly, Al, Jaze Al Jazeera Network, uh, they actually uh, do a lot of, of reliable news sources which is interesting because uh, compared there I can often confirm uh, their stories and they put out stuff before other people finally catch up to them but uh, Fox News and so now of course the big news on Fox News is that oh it's confirmed they're Trump TV way back in the election so and then a funny or die video hot dad teachers web series so they've had a couple of hilarious stuff uh, <laughs> which I guess is why they're recommending this one but uh, hot dad it looks scary because you've got the backside of a man in what appears to be a library and then a, a young lady uh, and uh, she's uh, appearing to be a temptress. She's all happy and leaning in and leaning. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie, you don't understand what I'm talking about. So like I said, movies, they all have an agenda that they're trying to put forward. And so, yeah, I see a lot of it uh, back when I was dating with uh, women who... Uh, wanted things to go the way they wanted them to go according to the movies that they've seen and agreed with <laughs> and then I think 
it was either a TV show or a movie. I can't remember where now, but uh, uh, the uh, the woman in the program or show or whatever uh, wanted <laughs> an '80s movie romance. <laughs> So I probably saw it in the movie through Amazon, I guess. <laughs> and okay, so according to RT down in the recently uploaded, Canada starts process to extradite Huawei CFO to US. Did we call for his arrest? Who is Huawei? And corporate finance officer? Hmm. Okay, and because I found the, I uh, can't remember the name of the Korean singing group, uh, Momoland, uh, and they're now recommending some MV group or One The K. So yeah, it's got Chinese characters that I can't read on also, but so those are now being recommended. So yeah, they have no clue as to what I want. Uh, yeah, that's the thing though, with uh, this this data collection system of robotics or internet AI systems. Uh, they have to obtain data that was not available before all this was available to collect from because there's all sorts of stuff in my past uh, that uh, is unavailable for them to make a le reasoned uh, recommendation for me so the recommendations they provide are worthless <laughs> Once in a while, yeah, there will be something that, oh, okay, because like this guy, the Patriot Act, uh, it wouldn't be something I'd be interested in because Patriot Act has a sore spot for me because of Bush. Uh, but uh, I, I thought, all right, fine, I'll check him out, see what he's got. He's a comedian, <laughs> an anti-Republican comedian. He's awesome. <laughs> So I guess his name is Hassan Minha. So <laughs> So yeah, that's that's his show. And then CBS, uh, they better because uh, I click on them for news. Though not all the time. They're not the number one news source. And Jimmy Kimball. Washington Post rock music because I got to provide you with theme songs for my videos and then the White House because there was uh, his, a couple of the other day he was, was involved in some stuff and I couldn't find anybody else that covered them other than the White House so that was frustrating uh, trending so that's nothing that I'd be interested in, and because I'm not signed in yet, I can't click delete to not show ever. So I guess Shazam is uh, coming out April 5th, and then Cardi B and Bruno Mars have a new song out four days ago called Please Me, and I won't dare play it because then YouTube will ban my video. So yeah, they, that's a whole copyright video in and of itself to try to explain to people about copyright. And it goes all the way back to the days of paintings when people, great artists, which thus were valuable pieces of artwork, uh, and then also jewelry, you know, specific diamonds, you know, and people are trying to fake diamonds and all that stuff. So. That's where the copyright comes from. It's from those days. And so here's the WWE. I haven't been 
paying attention to any of this forever. Raw. But I guess they're trending because of Trump. So, uh, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose reunite as the Shield. And I've been away for a long time. I didn't know there was a Shield. <laughs> I was shocked to come back from Canada after my education and uh, find out that that uh, the WWF was no longer in existence. It was now called the WWE. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what happened? And then there was some branch off group, I guess, that split from the WWF and then they flopped. There's Trevor Noah. He's an essential. And see, now they're doing Politics News HM. You'd think after weeks that I haven't subscribed, so therefore I'm not going to pursue an interest, but I watch one video <laughs> and they're like, oh, you like this one video? Here's a whole ton of it. It's a computer generated news. You don't trust computer-generated news, but nobody else was talking about it. I wanted to find out what it was, and and then it was something that can't be confirmed. <laughs> they didn't tell their source, and so uh, I'm trying to find what the thing was about, because apparently it was talking about a Russian guy had uh, said in some TV show that... Uh, Russia has a compromise on Trump and that Russia should release it. And I'm like, hey, where? What is this Russian program? So I'm searching, trying to find this Russian program and I can't find it. And I finally think I might have found it because it looks similar to the picture that they're showing on the computer generated image. But I can't understand Russian. <laughs> So I haven't got a clue. So I have no idea if if that uh, show that I had found that could have been around the time frame when the, this political news HM was saying it was happened. I don't know. So, but yeah, that's why I wanted to do the uh, uh, while I was at uh, Carl's Jr. for lunch. I got inspired again to do that, the uh, the real church history, LDS church history, and I have to do it in a series, and I can do it in 30-minute segments. <laughs> It'll make it longer than already it will be, um, but, uh, you know. Twice, 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 J.Y. Park. Who's your mama? And then CNN, because they're now a, a daily check, although CNN now hired a alt-right Republican to edit all of their shows. So that ain't cool. So, yeah, CNN may be dropping soon. Uh, but... Uh, when CNN pulls a stunt of of throwing in something about Trump may be impeached, you automatically know that's not news. If they're speculating, it means they're trying to be the first one to cover the news story before it becomes news story. And as a result of doing that kind of stunt, uh, you end up with a whole bunch of news stories that never become news stories for years. You end up getting played because then Trump pulls the stunt of, oh, they think I'm going to do this? Well, I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> See? Fake news. That's why you got to wait for the news to happen before you call it news. <clears throat> and MSNBC dance. Silver cowboy street performer beats a pesky beats. A pesky Hitler. What does that have to do with dance? Let's 
Seems like he's a mime or a statue. Alright. And again, Fox News. Only ones that covered Trump yes the other day, and so now Fox News! Just like when I started up my system after clearing my browsing history, YouTube pulls up Fox this, Fox that, Fox everywhere. Ah! <laughs> and then, of course, here we have uh, top 200 highlights of animals. Very funny. And yes, a little cute kitty with big eyes staring at us. But I don't watch YouTube for those videos. So again, they have no clue who I am, what I'm interested in, but I'm not even signed in yet. <laughs> this is me just looking around before I sign in. So they're just going off of my IP browsing history. So Saturday Night Live. Uh, Ring of Fire. I think that's the guy that, uh, no. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> it's either him or, no, it's the other guy. So it's not Ring of Fire guy. Unless he does a, an RT thing. Playmobil! They got a film? It's in French. Totally awesome. Playmobil Dutch. Oh, it's not French. I want to watch it. Okay, so I'll end here on and uh, let you know that I'm back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to anything else today. So, did the world end while I was away? Am I going to? I guess I still got to turn on the TV to find out what's going on. So, <laughs> is everybody still alive? <laughs> God. All right. I'm sorry. I have to add. I, I started watching the Playmobil. It is French. <laughs> and it's got pharaohs. This is awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to hold on to it until I finally upload the, this video after the other one gets processed. <laughs> and I'll link you to it. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I was thinking about uh, commenting on commercials because uh, the Groupon, the uh, new spokeswoman for Groupon, has been tamed. When she started, uh, she was like uh, all all in your face, and uh, now she's all calm and. And you know she wants to blow, but she's holding back. And... <sighs> so, yeah, people are getting silenced all over the place. But uh, this one is hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'll link you to this one. <sighs> okay. <sighs> And so I see also that some more news has just come out with uh, another video since I've been gone. So I'll need to catch up on that one too. Garbage man's here. All right. I don't know if you can hear that. We're doing a back. Scientists was wrong. Okay. Well, first of all, you've got to spell things correctly. If you're a professional world history official, the scientists was wrong. Uh, English grammar uh, requires certain spelling or certain words if you're going to uh, do tenses in a certain way. So the scientist was wrong, or the scientists were wrong. So I can tell that this video was a bunch of junk and there's Wilt Chamberlain 
uh, taking on Sammy Davis Jr. in a boxing match. Uh, so that one was funny. Uh, I have a story about Wilt Chamberlain that I need to get to tell you about one day. So, and then all of the songs that I've been listening to are now in, showing up as mixes. I don't do mixes. So, all right. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you, because I still gotta to uh, uh, make the video uh, through the Movie Maker program. So, all right, see you in a bit.